So this is the series of the AgExcel GX5 hydraulic system. And we have four different sizes, four different sizes of a D70, a D115, a D160, and a D250. And the differences between these would be the diaphragm count. So our D70 goes from a two diaphragm, a 115 is a three diaphragm, a 160 is a four diaphragm, and the 250 is a six diaphragm pump. And so depending on your rates is how we set these up. Uh, today we're going to talk about the pump itself, the hydraulic system, and how it functions and the feature sets. So the hydraulic system in the four, four different sizes that we have, they are all installed with a 4.9 CID hydraulic motor. And then we have on top of that our AgExcel proprietary PWM hydraulic valve. And so there's a lot of features on this valve that we'll get into as well. And then it's the diaphragm pump itself. And so when there's the different sizes, of course, have the heads on there, and the heads are the diaphragms. And then we also have the inlet, the pressure side, and then on the pressure side, we have the bypass valve. And there's, there's a lot of features why we put the bypass valve on there, a lot of reasons why we incorporate that. And then we also have our air, air valve as well, so when there's pressure lock or vapor lock in here, we can also release the pressure. It's very rare that these hydraulic pumps create any kind of vapor lock in the systems, uh, but we've set it there just in case it does do some kind of vapor lock or if you're priming it. But these are very good primers, and so the valve we put there, but it's rarely ever used, if at all. And then we have it set up with our AgExcel mag meter, and we use the mag meter for the range uh, to be able to accommodate low ranges, high ranges, as well as its ability so that when you're doing swath control, we can, uh, when you're shutting off specific swaths, we got to make sure that the valve, the flow meter can compensate for those low rates. Our AgExcel PWM hydraulic valve is designed to be utilized with both closed center systems and open center systems. And so it's a, it's a simple adjustment of this valve. The valve allows us to literally shut the hydraulic fluid off so that if you're using a closed center system like most tractors are today, or, and there's a few setups out there, case and so forth, where they have an open center system and so we have to open up the valve and allow the fluid to flow through and run. Um, we got pressure coming in, pressure going back, and then we have a load sense port, load sense port uh, on there, so if you're wanting to set this up to be able to use it with your power beyond, uh, we definitely can set this up to, to do that as well. And then it also has our PWM solenoid, and the solenoid is basically what allows us to manage the flow. So when your, your system is, is running and your rate controller or your speed is increasing or decreasing the speed or the rate, the PWM valve will basically has a pressure regulating valve compensating valve that allows us to control with the needle the flow of the, of the liquid and it's very very responsive and very quick so when you're making changes on your rate to when you're doing for example prescription based application like in strip till conditions uh, your current con controller when it makes a change on the valve it's very very fast very effective and very smooth and its ability to integrate into different consoles is a plus as well so whether you have an Ag Leader, a Green Star, a Trimble, a Raven, Outback, whatever you may have, as long as it supports pulse width modulation we can tap into that console and you can control this entire hydraulic system through your current existing um, controller. These positive displacement pumps, diaphragm pumps, are very very low maintenance. Um, if the nice thing about them is that they're very, very simple to maintain. If a diaphragm did go out, the head is very easy to take off, very easy to uh, replace the diaphragms and up and running again. The oil chamber as well, if there's ever a problem, maybe the diaphragm is leaking, it's very easy to, to notice your, the drop of flow. Uh, there's an oil gauge on the, on the side of the pump that allows you to see any kind of milkiness in it, you know the diaphragms are out. But, you guys are going with these systems two, three years without even having to change them, but we highly recommend changing the diaphragms every season just to ensure uh, good performance. And we also will replace the diaphragms uh, for you at no charge. All you have to do is pay for the parts, and that's part of the service that we give to our customers here at AgExcel.
Now, the bypass valve, the reason we put that on the system is because these pumps work extremely well uh, at five gallons a minute. Uh, the D70 can do four gallons a minute uh, well. But any lower than that, if you're trying to get a lower rate, what happens is that the pump will kind of try to struggle a little bit to get the lower rates. So we put a bypass valve on here, bypass some of the liquid in the system so that it allows it to go a lower rate. And if you're really trying to get down to two gallons an acre on a, like a D70, we'll send this back all the way to the tank, bypass more liquid so that we can go at a lower rate. So it allows you to get a really good broad range of solution or of uh, fertilizer uh, by utilizing that bypass valve. Or if you're looking to also maybe agitate liquid in your tank, then we can send that back to the tank and set the bypass to agitate and you can agitate and get your rates as well. Very, very low maintenance pumps. Uh, they do an extremely good job. Uh, low pressure, they, they have a good pressure range so they can run anywhere from 10 to about 80 PSI with no problem. Uh, we do have a spike valve on it. So the spike valve basically allows it so that if your pressure did for whatever reason on the pressure side, if something went wrong where maybe a hose kinked and the liquid's not able to flow, if it hits 100 PSI, that spike valve will open, bypass the liquid, and then of course you won't, your flow meter will instantly tell you something's wrong and you can stop and check it. So it's just a safety precaution. But these systems can run with no problem up to about 80 PSI and down and perform extremely well.